Hello and thank you for watching. Today what I'm going to show you is how I installed my self-contained battery charger and trickle charger. As you can see, there's what I would call the opposite of an outlet plug there. Basically it's a pronged outlet so you can plug in your extension cord and then everything self-contained under the seat so that your batteries will charge. Once they're charged, it'll start to trickle charge them so that they're constantly maintained. Now underneath the seat here you can see the first step of the project. I plugged in my cables here and then I attached them to this Banshee 24 volt battery charger I got off Amazon for a very affordable price. Red to positive, black to negative and on the 24 volt slots and then there's a plug-in right here so if I ever need to replace the charging unit I can just unplug the 110 and the 24 volt sides pull it out of there and then throw a replacement unit in. Now at this point I realized that having that extension cord there was a pain just because I had to remove the seat so then I bought one of these 110 plugs. I hope to install the 110 plug in the side there right beneath the seat. You can see this is what it looks like. Once that's installed, I won't have to remove the seat in order to charge the batteries. Now you can see I have the unit off, but I do have my extension cord there. I decided to find an extension cord with one of the biggest heads I could, and I'm just checking it to make sure that this extension cord will work. It looks like it does. Um, and now you can see that it's starting to charge the batteries. Looks like we're at one, two, three quarter, and now we're at full charge. So now it'll switch over to three amps and trickle charge to maintain the batteries. Now, as you can see here, everything's plugged in and ready to go. We have the ground hooked up to that post there and the positive hooked up to the other post. The cables are running through the wall there. They're wrapped up nicely. And then I just tucked the unit behind that lip there. You can see that little red light indicating that it's functioning. And other than that, it's pretty simple. You have your 24 volt side to the batteries, 110 side to the plug-in, and then the instructions with the plug-in tell you how to drill the hole. Now one thing you'll notice is we did cut out the seat, so full disclosure before you start this project, you will need to cut a little half circle there. I used a little jigsaw and then I finalized or rounded out the edges with a file there. I believed I used a salsa can lid to get the circumference right. I used about a three and a half inch circumference lid. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful and helpful. I'll provide links to any parts or tools that I used down in the description. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comments section. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button. That way you'll stay up to date on all the latest videos that we're coming up with. Fixes, tips, and tricks for your M998 or Humvee.